Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's PSG, they face Olympic Marseille, and it's live here on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. This is the scene here in the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Princes on a glorious day for football. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And the focus is on live action from Ligue 1. It's Paris Saint Germain up against Marseille. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Great atmosphere here. Two sides, I'm sure, will set a quick tempo in this game. We get to watch for free. The players are chomping at the bit. I can't wait. Le numéro 22, Abdou Diallo. Le numéro 8, Leandro Paredes. Le numéro 27, Idrissa Gay. Le numéro 6, Marco Verratti. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Kaylon Navas begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. And here's how it looks for Marseille. It's always interesting to try to sum up a team's style of play, their approach. And there are many who think that it's overly conservative in this case. What do you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it's not my preferred way of playing, that's for sure. But horses for courses, it's fine until you concede. Do they have a plan B if that happens? I'm not too sure. And the match begins. He's going forward well here. That's a lovely ball. Takes the shot. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. But well, then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. The opening goal of the game then. Alkadiusz <laughs> Milik. Promising sequence. This could level it. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Lorenzi. And a chance to whip it in here. Foiling them effectively. Fired in by Neymar. And Messi! There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. So 2-0 now. Alkadiusz Milik in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage. And he's broken free. Well, he's missed it. And you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down. You've got to take chances like that, Derek. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better.
An authoritative piece of defending from Alessandro Florenzi on that occasion. Paredes. Real danger. He's in behind. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Well, they get the ball rolling again. And Paris Saint-Germain are really cantering to victory, it appears. Payet. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, as we can see from the stats, PSG enjoying the bulk of possession here, and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning, and that's why they're one of the best teams. Could play it in, and he takes it on. Well, it might still work out for them. And taken away. Well, you have to say, goalkeeping at its best, Derek. It really was perfect positioning and a really good save, wasn't it? Easy save. Well, he likes to run at them. Messi, poor pass. Arkadiusz Milik. Dimitri Payet with it. It's with Milik. Chance to finish. Well, the shot coming in, but he's missed by a country mile. Idrissa Gay. It's with Paredes. Well, the pass not finding its target. Able to close down the shot. Into the middle, courtesy of Payet. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Duya Chaleta Saar. And they are on the move again. Disappointing pass. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game late. Yeah, losing a game is bad enough, but he's not helping his team out at all. Lack of movement, lack of imagination, too easily marshaled by the defence. He's not worked the keeper at all.